Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. Chuck here. We have a list of uh, 14 properties today, and the hair is cut, feeling good, ready to go. Let's do this. So, this one at 620 Ferguson, number 78, uh, end unit, two bedroom, two washroom, 419, looks good. You know, there's another one in the list at 410. I like this one a little bit better. There's a $47 fee on this one. Now, it's listed as a condo townhouse, and I've always believed when you list something in here, or there's uh, Natalyn Heights, 6020 Dairy, all of these are common element f homes, which means that the home is freehold, but you're attached to a common element, which is the road. Uh, the road's typically not wide enough to allow for city services. So what they do is they contract out the garbage removal and the snow removal. I think that the th that it creates a stronger impression. I know a lot of agents uh, do it this way, is they list it as a freehold home, and then they're very clear that there's a common element fee of uh, $47. I think that that tends to boost the, uh, the traffic a little bit more, because right away it's lumped into condo territory, and the, the house itself is not a condo. So anyway, I like it. If you go through the pictures here, you can see it's got a good floor plan. There's a little bit of space in the main floor to just have, you know, like maybe a bench when you walk in, that kind of thing. It's an open concept uh, main floor. And then you've got your two bedrooms upstairs and uh, they're both good size rooms too. So nice balcony, you're facing two story homes. You're not far from the Catholic school. Although most people that buy these homes with the two bedroom tend to be a couple, maybe they're just starting to have kids. And then at that point they, uh, they, they get up and move to the next place. So anyway, I think the boost would happen by being categorized as a freehold versus a condo. Next one up on Wynn is a Westgate uh, corner. So there was one yesterday, actually we didn't talk about it, but it was in the list, it's like 580 something. Same floor plan as this one. Uh, there, there's another one uh, on the market as well. So there's, if you like this floor plan, you've got some choice that I, I tend to subscribe to the belief that having the same model, having multiple versions of the same model on the market is probably not a fantastic thing if you're selling, but if you gotta sell, you gotta sell. So all the lights have been replaced. We talk about what an impact lights make. It's a really nice home. Uh, I think that this one has the potential to sell for much more than what they're listed for. It may be hard to believe, but semi-detached homes do sell for $699. They sell for higher sixes. Uh, that is 2016 for you. This one is a uh, 2200 square foot home plus a finished basement. That is a material on the side called hardy board, and it's actually like it's resistant to hail uh, it's got insulating properties. It's uh, it's a super durable, uh, amazing material. It's wonderful to work with if you're building. It's a lot more expensive than vital siding. So Heathwood as a builder uh, is known for, like they kind of charged more and the homes tend to get more money. So if you found a 2200 square foot semi with a finished basement that's not Heathwood, you might find that for like 650, but this area tends to command a premium. This model in particular tends to do very well. Uh, it almost always, if you look at the top semi sales, this is the floor plan that tends to have at least three of the top five spaces. Um, two sided fireplace, you have a little office nook upstairs plus four bedrooms, and they're all good sized. Uh, pot lights in the bedrooms, which is something we don't see very often, and uh, nice looking basement, well done backyard. It's got all the pieces. The only thing I'd say is that at this price, you have you don't have to be in a semi-detached home. You could be in a fully detached home. You're even starting to get to the place where you might even be able to get a double car garage. Dalglish Gardens, $749.9. I've always believed that $750 is a strategic pricing decision that makes sense because the way the brackets are set up online is that you've got $700 to $750, $750 to $800. So by just raising the price $100, you've essentially doubled your exposure versus $749.9 is that it's only in the bottom one. So if someone started their search at $750, they wouldn't even know about this one. So that's called double bracketing. It's something that we figured out years ago and we've been trying to tell uh, consumers and agents about it. Uh, I guess the word still needs to be spread a little bit more. So the uh, brick and stone elevation here, 
We have a similar size and style of home coming out tomorrow on Langholm with a nice big lot. Uh, it would have made sense here to also do a stainless steel or a, uh, a, a black hood fan. Just because your kitchen's such an important room, you know, like it's it just makes sense to have everything match up, especially something as important in the kitchen as appliances. So anyway, it's uh, it's a good location. Finished basement, you get a little home theater down there, which is always an attractive thing. Uh, Seven forty nine. That's a, this is a good price for a a four bedroom, four washroom, uh, one washroom downstairs, double garage home. So there we go, Cinco de Mayo. Uh, happy Cinco de Mayo, and we'll see you tomorrow with more Melted Daily Homes. Thanks for watching.